20 minutes into the route sweep, an IED detonates. It's a selfless mission, hunting long city streets or under a cardboard box to find IEDs before someone else sets them off. Yesterday was pretty busy. We went on a striker sweep and uh, we ended up finding a site where they were setting up a complex uh, ambush. We found nine IEDs there. All of them were cement encased 155s with uh, electrical wire coming out of them. First platoon sweeps these routes every day. They know which Pepsi can is new and which pile of rubble has changed. That hasn't always been the case. First it was the trigger men because we knew it was kind of hard to identify what the IEDs were. And sure, we'd never seen any of them. And once we found out what they were, it was easier to identify them. So we started slowing down and, and looking specifically for stuff that was out of place and just didn't look right. So they'll take out a section of the, this curb here, put it out, take it out and put those cement IEDs right in there. And you drive by, you can't really tell a difference, especially at night. This is what happens right here. This is one of the holes. This is a big one right here. It pretty much, it was a fuel truck that just like one of the ones just drove by. It blew the whole cab right off of the truck. This checkpoint is new, built to deter IED attacks. There were more than 20 strikes in this area alone. It's still problematic. The IED hunters find something suspicious nearby. It's just out of place. There's, the curb is complete, and that one block by itself is out of place. It, just doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. They can never be too cautious. There is no room for complacency on this mission. There's small blocks on the curb here more around the corner, and then there was just laying there. False alarm. No IED. The convoys are safe to travel today. Some of these convoys are two, three, four miles long. And then we clear the routes, and the convoys come through, and uh, they go to their destination. The vigilance of the IED hunter teams directly impact the safety on these routes, as well as the confidence of those driving on them. Army Sergeant Lance Milstead, 366 MPAD, Mosul, 